Hello friends, in this video I want to show how to interface a keyboard with 8051. Here the output will be an hexadecimal, so these are the outputs. Let's start. So friends, this is a hardware component. It's a switching switch matrix of 4 into 4. Here we have totally uh, 16 switches where we can apply for 16 different values. So let's start. First, we have to detect whether the switch is pressed or not. Let us assume that I am pressing the button 5. Uh, then, I have a condition that I will make a condition that all the port 1 are made to 0. Now, I am making the port 1 as 0 and port 2 as an input port. That means we know that uh, if, we may, if we want to make a port as input port, then we should initialize with all 1s. So now the port 2 is initialized as input with uh, applying all ones. If the button is pressed, then the 0 will be transferred to here. Then the final output will be 1, 1, 0, 1. That means we have a change. Whenever the button is pressed, then we will get a change in input. By this, we have completed one step to detect whether the button is pressed or not. So friends, let a, we are considering that switch 5 is pressed. We know that these are columns and these are rows. If this is row, this is column 1, column 2, column 3 and column 4. This is row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. Then this switch, this particular switch will be column 1, row 1. And this one will be row 1, column 2. And like this, we can determine a matrix by these rows and columns. So by using this, let us find let us find which button is pressed. Okay. Now I'm pressing the button 5. These are this is the output port. Pin uh, the port 1 is the output port and port 2 is input port. To make input port, we should initialize, initialize with 1s. Now, we are initializing with 1s. Let us give an input, an output of 0, 1, 1 at output port, at port 1. Now, you can see there is no connection established between 0 to the port 2. So, it will remain as constant. So all ones. If I give an input of 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, here the button is pressed. So D1 will be uh, D1 will be ground D1 of port 2. So D1 of port 2 will be grounded due to D1 of port 1. So the final result will be 1, 1, 0, 1. From this, what I want to explain is, here we are choosing row uh, row 2 and there is an output because the switch is in row 2. So, I, I am getting the information that there, there is a button pressed in row 2 and this is the column and D1 is the column. By this, I am getting the information which switch is select, it is pressed. For, uh, if we consider for if we consider for row 3 then the input uh, the output at port 0 must be double one zero one then if there is a change in port 2 then we can say that uh, the button is pressed in row 3 and we can find out by using the input port which column if the case is at row 4 then 3110 only at the in the case of 3110 if I am pressing button E then in the case of uh, row, row 4 only in that case we will get a change in input port of 1 0 1 1 hope you guys understood I will explain more detail while uh, explaining in code
so finally we are in code you can see here i have initialized port 2 with all ones to make it an in, make it as input port and port 1 to be zeros for grounding by this i am checking whether there is any button i pressed or not by using the following conditions i don't at the initial state i don't want any input so uh, the keypad must be free without any button is to be pressed so i am waiting until all buttons are released after a delay i am checking uh, if there is any change in port 2 if there any if there is any change in port 2 i am checking the debounce conditions so i have i am checking twice after that now i am trying to know which one with zero and remaining all ones so if there if the button is pressed in row one then there will be a change in port two or else there will be no change and it jumps to the and jumps to second row here i am initializing the port one with one zero all ones so that i am checking the condition in if there is any button pressed in row two if the button is pressed and there will be a change if they are not equal it will jump to the row if they are equal means all ones all ones means there is no change if there is any change then it will jump to row 2 where i have already initialized the values of uh, already initialized by using finite decimal and these are initialized with dptr values now i am checking uh, rotate right rotate with carry to find out which column and finally i am increment, uh, incrementing the dptr value to get the perfect output so friends now let us check our code by using Proteus site professional i am uh, opening the new project so let us give a name called try one schema i'm using default schematic design this is not required but i'm taking it as default now i'm selecting the microcontroller 8051 okay next finish this is the microcontroller now we have to connect the matrix switch matrix here i'm speeding the process you can see how I am connecting uh, the switch matrix to the microcontroller. In Proteus, only 4 into 3 matrix is available, so, so I am not connecting port 2.3. Now let's connect all LEDs to the output port here I am taking the output port as port 3 from the code you can see that here my final output is moving to port 3 so I am connecting 8 LEDs to the output port So finally I am done with the connections, now I am dumping the code to the microcontroller. For that double click on the microcontroller and select the hex file which we have created. My hex file is in 8051, so somewhere like here, get down. Now let's check the output, this is the run button. Now, before going to check the output, I want to show the ASCII values of one. So three one is the three one is the ASCII value of one. Three two is the ASCII value of two. So when I press one, then I should get three one. If I press two, it's three two, three three, three four, three five, three six. 37 38 39 0 
this is the ascii value for star and this is the ascii value for hash so by this we successfully done the keyboard interfacing with 8051 thanks for watching guys please comment below if you need any other interfacing videos with 8051 if you like the video please click the thumbs up button share and subscribe thanks for watching